artificial intelligently designed cures. Just look at in silico medicine. They used AI to analyze a variety of illnesses that they might be able to cure. AI is a tool which allows us to go into drug discovery much faster, go after much more challenging biological and chemical problems with higher confidence. But when the AI set its focus on IPF, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, it's a respiratory disorder with no known cure, it combed through innumerable data sets to understand the disease's effects and the key proteins fueling the illness. And then the AI designed a series of entirely new molecular structures to target the problem. After that, the AI ran virtual simulations to test the new molecules against the disease. During that process, it discarded treatments that turned out to be unsafe or ineffective, and it refined the molecules that did work to make them work better. And Silico's AI was like a super scientist. It basically compressed what would have been decades worth of research and testing into about 18 months. And in November of 2024, boom. In Silico's AI designed med tied to respiratory health improvements in mid-stage lung disease trial. Now, one common side effect, it gave 14.8% of patients mild diarrhea, but you know, who knows? Maybe that's the AI's attempt at humor. Nevertheless, previous treatments for IPF only slowed down the disease. This new drug shows promise to stop the disease from progressing. Now, of course, it'll take five to seven years to get a trial done, but the point is, 2025 could see the creation of many more AI designed medications, which will then also have to go through trials. But that got me thinking, we've got drugs designed by AI. What about drug trials designed by AI specifically for the drug it created? AI can analyze data about a disease to find potential solutions. That means we're probably gonna see AI used to analyze data about patient populations to fast track the human testing process. And we can anticipate AI being used to analyze medical, geographic, and demographic data to identify the patients who are most likely to benefit, to predict side effects based on the individual characteristics, and to make participation easier by optimizing trial designs. All of this could align drug trials with better participation rates, providing more data in less time. So in 2025, we're gonna see many, many more new medications developed using AI, and the concept of AI connecting patients with potential cures, I think will become a more common concept over the next year.